Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to add a ESXi host into vSphere, into our vCenter environment. Uh, we are running VMware 6.7, uh, but the process on 6.5 is also the same. So let's look at how to do that right after this. So my name is Emilio, I work in the IT industry and we are here logged into vCenter. So this is vSphere 6.7. And what we're going to be doing is adding a host into uh, this environment. So you'll see that I've already got a host here, 172.16.1.101. This is a host that's been added into a cluster, which has been added into a data center, and then likewise added into my vCenter host, which in this case is called security-01 with my domain. So I can add the host directly into my vCenter environment, straight into the root here. I can add it into the data center or I can add it into the cluster. For the purpose of this, we're just gonna add it into the data center and then play around with that host and add it into the relevant location as need be. So we right click on that and select add host. We then put in the IP address of the host. Okay, so you wanna make sure that this host can actually see the vCenter server that if there's any firewalls or if it's on a different subnet that you wanna make sure that any routes are there in place uh, and that they can actually communicate with each other over the appropriate ports. Otherwise, you won't be able to add the host into that um, vCenter environment. You put in your credentials, which will generally be your root credentials because they do have the most permissions to do what you need to do. It's gonna come up with a security alert and you say yes if you agree to that certificate and then you'll see here a summary of the host, the details of the vendor, the model, and then the virtual machines that are sitting within that host itself. It will then ask me for a license that you wanna use. Okay, so I can go ahead and give it the license that I want. Otherwise, you just use the evaluation license if you have a host with an evaluation. Next. You'll see that it's gonna add the data center VM location, we'll leave it as the default bit of a summary and click on finish. You see on the bottom here, it's adding that particular host right here into my data center. And there you go, that is it. So now my 172.16.1.100 with the details, this is running on an Intel NUC. And you'll see if I expand this, I've got all those VMs. So now this host is part of my vCenter environment. Nice and easy, that is how to add a host into vCenter 6.7 or 6.5. I hope you found this video helpful. I would love it if you subscribed to my channel and comment also below if you do uh, want to have a discussion and let me know how you, how you went and how you thought. And we will talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.